You say status rough hurting your head When you got stuck you should have asked me instead Or just ask Mac Now think back to how you begun Was a hypothesis test? Your first step, son? You don't reject the null, fail to reject the null either Until you find whether the alpha value is higher Quit flipping, talking about status so tough Make sure you listen to the lesson while we're telling you stuff So you want to compare one group to another Or perhaps one group to some known number If your sample size is at 30 or more you best be testing this with a Z-score If you remember these words, it ain't no chair A zero minus mean or a standard error When you check your Z-table for the critical sum Degrees of freedom equals N minus one What test? What test? What test? What test? What test? What test? R, F, T, or P A chi-squared or maybe Z What test? What test? What test? What test? What test? Now if you're working with a sample small in size, then the Z-test will not suffice. You're gonna have to use an alternative theory. Try T-test to answer your query. But if you want to get a correct solution, first you must assume a normal distribution. Equal variance is a needed feature, but if not, use a sadder wave procedure. And lastly, for the T-test to be ample, you gotta assume independent random samples. And we told you to remember this forever. Observe minus mean over standard error. If your samples are paired or matched, a new course of action must be hashed. Calculate different scores for each observation. Conduct a t-test without hesitation. Our apologies if we're monotonous, but when your DV is dichotomous, these tests can be run without distortion. Use estimated population proportions. Your tests are done and there's still confusion because you got numbers and no conclusion. You'll find out quick if you got the right vibe. If your p-value is less than 0.05. R, F, T, or P, a chi squared, or maybe Z. What test? What test? What test? What test? What test? R, F, T, or P, a chi squared, or maybe Z. If you're looking to be innovative and you got variables that are qualitative, conduct chi squared and you'll do well. Just make sure you expect five in every cell. Sometimes two variables in the ranges One can predict how the other changes If you got this distinct impression You're in need of some simple linear regression To minimize error in your prognostication Calculate the least squares equation This can be accomplished with one, two, threes Or you can just use some matrices Beta naught is where you cross the Y Beta one is the slope of the line R, T, and F all indicate whether your model can hold its weight. If the SSE shows you're not too wrong, there's a real good chance that your model's strong. If you really want to know how well that you fare, hope you can find a larger just an R squared. But what if you got more than one predictor? Use multiple regression and you'll be the victor. Get your evidence for the model's validity. Just be aware of multicollinearity. Which model is best? Yes. Which is robust. robust? Which model leaves all others in, in the dust? dust? Forward, backward, stepwise selection. selection. Mallow CP is your best, best detection. detection. So when this class is ancient history, history and you're into research or industry, remember these tips and you won't get stuck. This is real shit. We're, We're not making, making this up. up.